Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video, I will show you how you can theme your phone just like Google's new Pixel phone that is running Android Nougat. So you can actually make your phone look like Android Nougat and also feel like Android Nougat. The interface is actually very similar to that of Google Pixel and most of my friends were also not able to make out if it's Marshmallow or Nougat. So, uh, I will let you see all the features and then we'll do the installation. So let's start with installation. I have attached all the links to the APKs in the description below so you can check them out. And uh, you can either install the Google Pixel launcher. So if you are using uh, Nougat already then you will have app shortcuts if you use this launcher. Or you can install Nova launcher which will get you app shortcuts even on devices that are not running on Nougat. So if you choose to install the Nova launcher, you'll have to change some settings to make it look like Google Pixel. You'll need to make the following changes. You'll need to add the persistent search bar and change the search bar to what I have done. And then you'll also have to add the dock background and also need to change the dock indicator. That's it for the launcher. Now for the icons, I just chose some random icon pack from the Play Store. You can also choose it and uh, run it with Nova Launcher. If you are running the Google Pixel Launcher, the icon pack won't work. Now we'll install the boot animation. For that you will need a root file manager. So I have ES File Explorer. I will enable the root explorer in that. And copy the boot animation.zip that I have attached in the description to system slash media and replace the original boot animation or you can rename the previous boot animation like I did to something else and paste it there. After that you need to change the permissions of the new file uh, just like I've done. It should be RW, R and then R. So now the boot animation file is done. We'll change the Android version by changing the build prop file. It's under the system directory and there's a file called build prop. Open that file and press the edit button. In that you will see ro.build version release is equal to 6.0.0. This would be like the normal version that you're having right now. You can change it to something like 7.0.0 or 7.1.0 or basically anything. You can even make it 9 or something. Uh, this will not change the actual version of Android. It will just display 7.1 as a number. After changing the build profile, you need to reboot your device. For the soft keys, you will need a paid software. This is the only paid software in this tutorial and it's called SoftKey Z. So you can install that software and after installing, you can import the buttons that are attached in the description. And there'll be some PNG files and you can select the back button home button and everything from those PNG files. So now for the interface, the status bar, the lock screen and the notifications, we'll use an exposed module called NFI. It will basically change most of the layouts according to what it is in Android N. And the second module is the assistant enabler. You just need to install these modules and the assistant enabler as the name says will enable the Android assistant and the first one will change the layout. So just install these modules, enable them and then reboot your phone. The last one is the fingerprint quick actions. I've also made a video on this. So you can uh, put some gestures on your fingerprint scanner, like swipe down to open the notifications panel uh, or some other ones. 
I've been planning on doing two series that uh, I made videos on. First is the YouTube 101 in which I cover the various things that you require for YouTube like what is the best mic, how can I make a logo, how can I make a banner. I made a video earlier on how to make a channel banner so you can check that out. The second one is informative videos about Android. Uh, many people start just doing root and stuff and installing custom ROMs without even knowing what they are. So I thought it would be better if I make some videos on what is root, what are custom ROMs and uh, other root stuff and mods. I already made a video on what routing is and why you should root your phone. So I would like to have your views on these two topics and if I should continue them or not. If you have any other video ideas, you can let me know in the comments. I'll be uploading more like once a week from now on.